Okay, so in the last video, we we got up and running. Um, this out library that I'm showing you here clearly isn't the one that we made in the last video. That last video is just showing you how to install, get ready. Uh, this isn't sort of like a follow along and do this. This is more or less a, here's how to do these things. You can do them in your own context. So I'm not expecting you to follow along with the code I'm doing as is here. Uh, this library I have is our new forms library that we're gonna be making. And let me see, we have localhost I'm going to leave that previous link up. Well, I have level up tutorials running on a local host here. And what I'm going to be doing in this video is linking this library to this code base so that we can test it out in a real environment because this is a real create react app. And by all means, this is a, a real environment, but I'm looking for this to replace my forms, right? There's a lot of forms on this site that I'm looking for it to fill in for. And we want to make sure that it's going to be useful in a real context. Now, in the real context we're going to be doing in this video is just throwing it on the homepage. That's no biggie. Uh, but I want to show you how to link this nonetheless. Now I keep saying this word link because it turns out that word is important for what we're doing. Let me open up an iTerm window and bring it open over here. We can do make it bigger font size. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. Now the first step to this, let me pop out of this. And I'm in the fresh forms repo, which obviously uh, I keep calling this fresh forms, but that's not the, the final name here. Uh, this is initially what I created it as. And we have this library. Now this library has a name and that name is fresh forms. Okay. Uh, you can get that name by heading to the fresh forms or your package.json, wherever you gave this a name, right? My name is fresh form. So therefore this is going to be the name of the package for right now. Okay. So because of that, you can always change it later down the line. Don't worry about that. But, uh, for right now, what we need to do from the fresh forms root. Okay. This is not the example root. Notice how the example is a create react app app. This is not the example. What we want to be doing is we want to run a command NPM link. Now, I've been using yarn for this series. If you are using yarn as well, you will be doing yarn link. So even though I wrote NPM link here, I'm going to change it to yarn link because I used yarn on level up tutorials and I want to make sure everything's consistent. Okay. Uh, you'll see this fresh forms grayed out here. We don't want this. We simply, oh, what are you doing? I term, we simply just want it to say yarn link. Okay. Nothing else other than yarn link. Hit enter, and it's going to tell me there's already a package. I have already done this, um, and because of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlink it so you can see this happen live. Uh, let's just say you change the name, or maybe you want to unlink it for some reason. You can do run, not run. We're going to do yarn unlink. Okay, there we go. Now we can just do yarn link like I wanted to do in the first place, and. What this does is it's basically telling your system, hey, here's this local package, it's available, and it's available under the name Fresh Forms. Now, in the level up code base, how do we now access this library? Well, we need to change directories into our code base. So apologize for all this font messing around. We're gonna change directories into level, I think this is in level, no, this is a, we'll do CD, ba ba. No, I was in the right directory sites. It is CD level up. And then from inside of level up, what I can do is yarn link. And this time we do need the name of the library, which was fresh forms. Okay. So what that has done is it's linked our package fresh form. Now I don't want you to head to your package.json. I'm going to head, this is the level up code base right here. So this is the level up code base. What I don't want you to do is come in here and be like, all right, command find fresh forms. So even though we're not going to see yarn lock here in our package file, we should be able to use it. I'm going to head to my home page and I'm going to import some stuff. Now, instead of just, you know, trying to type this out, I'm actually going to tab back. I'm going to import directly from, I'm going to copy this. Uh, same thing that was working here, this code from the fresh forms repo, I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. We're going to import form field from fresh forms. You can see it's going to say, Hey, I don't, I don't really know where fresh forms is. Don't worry about it. Um, and we're also going to just grab this whole form bit just like this. 
to make sure that we have it working. And I'm just gonna throw it in here and I'm gonna throw it in just below this X bar. Um, and options wise, you can just get an array. Sorry, sorry, options, you're just getting an array. I'm gonna even take the select field out of it if this is not working very well. Okay, so that said, we have what happening here. Well, if I were to look at my console, uh, the site's rebuilding. And unfortunately, I think I'm running my rebuild in production mode for some reason. Um, should have thought of that before, obviously, but so this is gonna take a little bit longer than usual. And we do get what appears to be, let's see, it's currently white screen loading. It's thinking, it's thinking. And let me actually restart my package manager. Oh, okay, well then it worked. So check it out. So uh, sorry, this is so slow. This was a production build. Uh, I should have should have had it in development mode, but check it out. Uh, this is now a package. This package does not live on NPM. It is not your package file, but we are importing it and using it nonetheless, just like we would any other package. And it's really super cool. This is gonna function exactly uh, like how it does. Let me head back to Oh, not the home page. Let's head to the index page. There we go. And let's click submit. You can see the form actually submits. This package is working. So using NPM link and NPM link package name on the one you're intending to use it on is gonna work. And I found this to be the nicest and easiest way because let's let's check something out here because I'm gonna head to my fresh forms repo. And keep in mind, this repo is currently compiling. So the steps that we did in the last video where we told it to compile, those are happening right now. Let's just say uh, we have this form and, and instead of just being a, a basic form here, when it outputs a form, it's not just gonna output the form in children, it's gonna output in addition to that, an H1 that says, yo, okay? So keep in mind, this is not in the level up code base. This is in the Freshforms NPM package code base. It's an entirely separate code base, right? Yet, uh, after this package rebuilds, you're gonna see something really interesting happening. And again, this is the production build. I'm so angry that I'm choosing to do that. I'm gonna stop this. And as you can see, we do have those updates came down the line and uh, to trust me, when you're normally working on this, it's not this low. So uh, typically it's running very fast. You have a name, a number, type, and then this yo pops in here. This is directly from the NPM package itself. So this is the workflow I use for developing NPM packages. Now, this is part of a package I'm working on that's going to be a form library. If you'd like to help contribute, whatever, it'll be available on Level Up Tutorials. It's not quite there yet for community interaction or community development, but once I get things a little bit more in place, I'll let you know. Uh, in addition, if you would like to learn more about this kind of stuff, head on over to leveluptutorials.com forward slash uh, pro and sign up to become a level up pro. You'll get access to all sorts of courses. Some of my new favorite courses on the site have been animating React. Uh, D Dev tools and debugging is absolutely essential. I just created this Gatsby e commerce course. It's coming July 31st. Headless WordPress, uh, not headless WordPress, headless Shopify. It's going to be really cool. All sorts of courses. React to testing for beginners is very popular. Testing is difficult. Testing is something we're going to be doing with these packages as I create my package, and I'll be sure to cover that stuff as well. So uh, React testing library, React testing for beginners is definitely a good one to check out. Um, and animating React, like I said, has been very popular. So uh, leveluptutorials.com forward slash pro sign up, get all, access to all this in a new tutorial series every single month. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.